This podcast focuses on the pediatric hand exam. Our faculty member is Dr. Donald Bay from the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. Now let's talk a little bit about sensation. Um, in general, there are three peripheral nerve distributions that innervate and give sensibility to the hand. The first is the radial nerve, which comes down and provides sensation to most of the dorsum of the hand. The second is the medial nerve, which gives sensation down on the thumb, index, long, and half of the ring finger. And then you have an ulnar nerve that comes down and gives sensation down here. So a brief down and dirty way to check for sensation is literally to ask someone, can you feel you when they touch their thumb, touch their index, sorry, their small finger, or touch the dorsum of the hand. Sometimes you want to find uh, and get some sensory information that's a little bit more subtle. And so you can take advantage of something called two-point discrimination. This is simply a paper clip that's been unbent, so the two tines are a set distance apart. So if I wanted to be more precise about a sensory examination, I could touch Cole's fingertips with either one or both tines and ask Cole without looking if he can tell me if he feels one or two. So Cole, let's play this game. Is that okay? So no looking, no cheating. Am I touching with one or two? Two. One or two. One. One or two. One. One or two. 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 So A plus. He got them all right. Uh, by measuring the distance between them, you can then determine in an objective fashion what the two-point discrimination is. And most people believe that five to six millimeters of two-point discrimination is normal. You can't do two-point in a child in general under six years of age. They just won't get it. This is particularly true in the young nonverbal child. So one of the nice things um, is that there's another way to test for innervation to the fingertips. And where this is important is particularly in situations where you have lacerations in the hand and you can't tell if any of the digital nerves are injured or not. So one of the things that we can do in these situations is do what's called a warm water immersion test. So you literally soak a hand in warm, clean water. And if the nerves are intact, we should see wrinkling of the pulps of the digits, signifying that the afferent and efferent innervation is intact. In young patients or older patients who have nerve injuries from, say, a laceration, that innervation is gone, and those fingers will be shiny after a warm water immersion instead of wrinkly. So Cole's been soaking his hand now for about five minutes, maybe more. And Cole, you're going to bring your hand out, and you're going to show us your fingertips. And so when I look here, I can see very nice wrinkling of the pulps of the small finger, ring finger, long finger, index finger and thumb, and even in the palm. And so this is what you would anticipate in a child who doesn't have any nerve injuries. And had Cole, for example, had a cut on his ring finger, and after a warm water so soak, the ring finger was shiny and smooth instead of wrinkly, I would be very concerned that there was a nerve injury that Cole couldn't explain to me.